I met Hank about two years ago. I had just moved into foster care, barely knowing what was going on. Hank has completely changed my life. I can't imagine my life without him. We are just the same I was a member of the 2001-2002 uh, grand jury, civil grand jury, of, in El Dorado County, and uh, we were inter we we were doing an interview of uh, of Judge Riley, and uh, that he gave a plug. He at the end of it about Casa. He said that any of you people, when you're done, he says they and he specifically mentioned that they needed male male volunteers. And uh, he went. He explained it briefly, and that's how I. So right, right when I left uh, the grand jury, I went right over and applied for casa. Hank taught me that just by saying sorry, it can end conflicts or arguments. Such a good, generous, kind man, my casa. Is. Frankly, I think the communication is that because a lot of these kids are either are afraid to communicate, or they do not know, know how to communicate, or they're very suspicious and rightfully so because of, the, uh, because of the conditions that they've come from. But you can pretty much tell when, they're, when, they're, when they tense up on you that, they're, that there's, they're, they're holding back. Every single time I see Hank, he helps me through the troubles in my life. But they, their life is, an, is, an open, is more and more an open book, and they're not used to that. As far as the relationship goes, it started off very slow. Uh, uh, very, the communication was very poor. Uh, it was awfully hard to get anything out of the young man. Uh, he would be agreeable only be, uh, to, to, to anything you suggested only because he, that's what he thought he should be doing. And, uh, and once, once you see that, then you, tar you start saying to the young man, I, that's at least what I started saying to him was, listen, don't do this because you think somebody else wants you to do it. Do this because you want to do it, or you want to give it a try. Hank tried to help me and tell me to do better in school, and all I did was be disrespectful to him. He didn't deserve that. I had an epiphany, and now I get A's and have a dream of being an anesthesiologist. The success of this last case was due to a lot of people, a lot of people, including Gus. And things are gonna change I'm starting over again I may have ruined the plan But the stars are coming in My name is Jim. I've uh, been a CASA for 17 years. A local commissioner came into my service club and made a pitch for some male CASAs and I thought I'd give it a try and I've been at it 17 years. My name is George. I've been a CASA going on five years now. Uh, I'm, uh, my wife and I are both CASAs, so we work as a team with, uh, with our cases. I, I, I guess the first thing that comes to mind when I think of CASAs is that uh, my wife and I said, look, if this is going to be depressing, we're not going to do it. And uh, anyway, so we took we took the class, and uh, it hasn't been depressing. You have your highs and, and some frustrations, but it hasn't been depressing. So uh, we got past that, and like I say, we've been constant almost five years now. And change us all. The idea of cost is to tell the judge what you think is best for the child. Uh, that's not always easy, but uh, that's what our job is. You know, I can understand the judge, you know, he says, you know, I spent maybe a half hour with them in court, and I'm making decisions to affect their whole life, and uh, I don't know a lot about them. And so we give them that, we fill in that area. We tell them everything that we know that we think will be valuable in helping him make his decision. So uh, there's a reward, I think, just in, in that process for the causes. Love 
So we as CASAs will give them information that probably is uh, considered superfluous to, to most of the other court members, but uh, I think it helps the, the court process a lot. And, uh, we sort of kind of level the playing field. Nobody's paying us. Uh, no one, uh, uh, you know, uh, we don't have an axe to grind. So that uh, there is a common sense aspect, I think, that we bring to the court that says, hey, you know, we think this is probably the best thing to do in spite of all the legalese that uh, need to be considered to get this accomplished. You are, I start to lose control While all my fears fly out the door Cause I was made for you And you were made for me Oh, oh, oh Oh, oh, oh Oh, oh, oh Yeah Yeah, I knew it right from the start